Are you a big Marvel fan? Well, join me today as we take a look at the shield that made the first Avenger. So, see you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as I said in the intro, we're working on Captain America's shield. Now, this was a rather big project that I actually had to span across multiple printers um, to do this. So, the model maker of this one did a really awesome job. Most of the model can be printed on a C, on an Ender 3 size printer, a 235 by 235 by 250 centimeter, or yeah, centimeter? Yeah, printer. But the outer ring, he only fit for the CR10. So, of course, luckily I have a CR10, so I was able to move forward with that one. But if you do have an Ender 3 and you're wanting to move forward with the model that I'm going to show you today, you can use a tool like Mesh Mixer to separate the pieces and get it downsized for your Ender 3 or smaller printer. But as I said, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going big today. So this is the all the parts put together, except I haven't installed the star yet. And it just slips right on in. Good fit, good clean model. This is about 85% of actual original size. Now, Steve Rogers, you know, big, big guy after all of his stuff. So me, I'm not as big as that. So, but this one fits size-wise just right for my size. So you can go bigger. I'm probably going to need a bigger printer. You're definitely going to have to cut the pieces up. Yes, multiple different color spools of PLA were used because I have a specific way I want to finish this one. And multiple things have already been involved. Um, there is some glue, but most of this has actually been adhered together with my 3D printing pin because the model did have a shortcoming where there was a gap in it. And I used the 3D printing pen to fill that gap as well because what I wanna do next is I'm gonna do some sanding and try to get this as smooth as I can, but then I'm gonna come back with some Bondo and actually do a filler layer to get this as smooth looking as I can, sand that down and then start painting. If you guys wanna see that process, you need to let me know down in the comments below. That way you guys can see me taking this all the way. And also I need to build something in the back to actually make this wearable, if I so choose to wear it. All honesty, probably gonna take my shelving right here. But that's for another story. So before we move over to Kira, if you guys are liking the content you're seeing on this channel and the different takes that we're taking here, let me know down in the comments below. Definitely if you're new here or if you wanna keep seeing cool comment like this, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you get all the notifications by hitting that bell and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're printing or if you're thinking about getting th in this 3D printing, let me know what you're thinking about. If you're thinking resin, filament, you know, just let me know what you're thinking about. But let's hop over to Kira. Let's get this guy sliced for the multiple parts to go on the multiple different printers. Then we'll show you the time lapse and again, We'll talk about this final product product, and also how I did the adherence with PLA to make this into one piece. So let's hop over to that computer. All right, guys, here we are on Thingiverse. This is the model that I used to fabricate one, this one. All credit to this one goes to Millhouse 5. It's an excellent model. It was a lot of fun to print, and it's just a really cool centerpiece. So, Captain America Shield, it's up on Thingiverse. Link to this model is down in the description below, as long as links is the materials and other things that I use in regard to the channel. So, I am an Amazon affiliate, so I appreciate you guys helping me out there. And as you can see, everything's in pieces, which is great. This is a very popular model, well printed. So, I'm going to pull this over. And here are the files that we see. So, that's all the parts. We've got basically our three rings and our center and our star. So let's get over to Kira. Yay. Okay. So let's talk about the outer ring. So this is the red outer ring piece. So this is a smaller piece that you can use. That's a half size piece. So here's the red outer ring full size piece. See, like I said, to do the full size, you need a CR10. But to do the half size pieces, you can get away with an Ender 3. But you're going to have to print a lot of those half size pieces because it's half, if it will let me do this. 
Boop. All right. There we go. It's half of this. So it's two of these. So that's the red outer ring. So the red outer ring is this one, the outermost ring. So you got your inner red ring, you got your silver ring, then you got the outer ring. So there's a lot of parts to print here. So I'm going to clear the bill plate and we're going to just start, try to start from the center here with the centerpiece, just straight center. And as you can see, that's that. Let's kick down to a inner three size. There we go. Inner three. Woohoo. Looking good. So easily fit on there. Scroll through my standard settings here. Um, I use Inland PLA Plus when I do this printing. So if you guys are curious about any of the settings here as I scroll through, you can stop. My average print temperature is about 210. Uh, initial layer, I do a little bit hotter. Uh, my plate, I usually keep around 50, um, sometimes 60. Um, depends on if it's winter or summer, if I alternate the plate. Um, you know, if my heat is on or if my air conditioning is on. So, because that does affect everything. Definitely have your Z-Sop and your traction enabled. Um, you want a good, clean print. And you don't need a lot of support because, well, this is pretty much one solid center piece. So, let's clear that off. And let's head over to, of course, the piece that goes in the middle. Straightforward print again, star. Um, depending on how heavy you want this to be, that'll you'll want to adjust your infill, of course. Uh, I have it at 100% on here for some reason. Whatever I was printing last needed, oh, because I was using a different printer. So honestly on this, 10% is gonna be more than enough to print this piece. So there's the centerpiece of the whole project. I'm gonna delete the second, and actually, you know, looking at the file now, this has changed since I printed it because the red outer ring did not have a half size file when I looked at this last. Now it does. Huh. So the inner red ring, there's it. It's part, you'll need four of those at least. So pretty straightforward and simple. Um, I printed them upright just like this. Didn't need a lot of support. I think I actually set support at 70 and I did have a raft to kind of help it along its way. So that one was pretty straightforward and simple. This is, like I said, this was a really easy model to print. Um, there's just a lot of printing. Then you got the silver ring, half size. I did love this, that they put two pieces in here. So you got to print this four times to make the second ring. So four times, again, I did a raft. I did a little bit of support and it went just fine. Now, there is a just silver ring part. Let's let that load in here real quick. I don't know why I'll set, oh, hello, bye Kira. So that happens every once in a while. I am running Kira 4.91. <clears throat> I don't know why it crashes, it just does sometimes. I think I kind of just make it mad because, well, I abuse Kira. <laughs> I use the tar out of it. But it should bring us back right where our settings were. So let's just pull the larger silver ring piece. Now, as you guys can see, it's very tight fit on the Ender 3. It is basically the entire build plate. It barely fits if you print it laying down like that. And you're gonna have a bunch of infilling support, uh, which will just kind of be not that much fun. Um, I actually printed the other, the large piece on the CR-10 laying down like this. Getting off its support made me kind of cringe a little bit. But, so, now you can actually print all your rings on an Ender 3, which is pretty cool, if you ask me, if you do the half parts. So red outer ring half, you can do that on an Ender 3, no problem. Um, my raft setting is what's throwing this off, but you'll need eight of those as well. And you know, it's an Ender 3. So if, we, if I fix this to where it can actually lay down, where's the raft? Uh, dual extrusion, build plate adhesion, ah. Oh, turn that down to two. So we don't need a lot. As you can see, it easily fits and you can print two of these. So to retracting my earlier statement, you can print this entire thing on an Ender 3, which is pretty darn awesome. And it's just being kind of a butt 
right now, but you can also turn it on the end and have them printing upright at the angle too, easily with no problem. So in all honesty, you can print this with an Ender 3, which is pretty cool. I may go back and actually try to do this with just an Ender 3. Uh, second one's not a bad thing, right? <laughs> so that's how I did it in Kira. Um, Super Anti-Spyware's got to make its appearance here, of course, but it's just kind of one of those things. Check your settings, work what's, use what's best for your printer. I love inland filament. Um, that's just Micro Center sells it on their website. I use a spool list. It's $16.99 a spool, which is pretty darn good price. It's good materials. My models always come out great. I've been experimenting with some other filament though as well. Um, you guys will actually see me doing a video on this from, um, it's called JO PLA Plus. And actually, I'm pretty impressed with it too. I didn't have to change any settings. And I'll be doing a comparison video against in my inland standard prints with this JO. And it actually is really good filament as well. So I was actually kind of surprised by it. But let's hop over to that time lapse, get a look at this final product. Again, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the other side of the time lapse. Hey guys, this is one of the unglamorous parts of uh, 3D printing. You guys see me do the models and you see a lot of the final products, but you don't actually see me assembling them. And that's what I'm doing right now is this is Captain America Shield coming up here on July 2nd. You'll see this product project done, but I gotta put it all together. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using a 3D printing pin to put it together with its own material. So basically I'm welding it using additional PLA to make it one solid piece. And you can see, there's a lot of it in here and there's going to be a lot of sanding. So All right guys, that's how I made it. So you now have the ability to go into Kira, slice your own files, get them going on your printer to make this really cool project. Um, it's probably one of the bigger projects I've ever made next to the helmets. And maybe the jetpack I think is about the same size. So this is one of the bigger projects I've taken on. Now, how did I fuse a lot of it together? Keyword is fuse. I used its own material. I used a 3D printing pin. And there's actually a short out there of me actually going through 
and putting it together in the back. So filling in the gaps, adhering it, melting it basically with its own PLA material to make this one solid piece. It gives it some strength. It does a lot better than glue because it is actually now one piece, which is pretty darn cool. And the 3D printing pin, honestly, they're not that expensive. They run anywhere between $60 and upward to, they can run to $200. My little guy here is one of the 60. It's a tech boss. I don't even think mine's made anymore. Um, I have been looking to get some that have more settings and more control because I am really getting more and more interested in working with a 3D printing pen. But if you're a 3D printer and like doing your 3D printing and want to make your prints even better, I do recommend a 3D printing pen. So, because there's a lot of reasons to use this, check out my shorts that are coming up um, every Tuesday of why this thing is awesome to use and how it can help your shop utilize all the materials you buy and all that stuff. So keep tuned for that. So. Again, good view of the final product was just shown. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the crew as we continue to grow this channel and print new things. And let's go Marvel. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.